Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to one of my videos. In today's video, I will be f reviewing the Defont Apocalypse. This is the DBSA272, and it is from Russia. Uh, the company is based in Russia. It's um, Alfred Audio, and yeah, I'm really excited to uh, review this product. A lot of you wanted me to review this. I posted a poll, and 58% of you wanted me to review the sub. So let's get this thing out of the box. All right guys, first things first, it comes with not one box, not two boxes, but three boxes, which is pretty really, really well um, boxed. And this sub should not be damaged at all. So let's get it out. All right guys, here's the actual box. We do have a little bit of damage right here, but it shouldn't be too big of an issue. So this is gonna be the Defmon's Apocalypse. This is gonna be the 1500 one RMS one and it is a 12 inch. I got this on Amazon during their tax sale for like 100, 240 bucks, which is a lot of money for me. So make sure you like this video or subscribe. And let's see this. So that's the model size RMS 1500, 3000 watt max. Let's see guys, it is a 2.75 inch coil. Now I know there's, there's some three inch coils that can't even handle 1500 watts RMS. So we're gonna put this coil to the test and we're gonna do a brutal RMS rating um, at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, this should be, I think this is a one ohm sub, if I'm not mistaken. I think I got the one ohm version, but if I got the two ohm version, that's fine. Oh, it's gonna be a D2, Never mind. All right, let's get this thing out of the box. All right guys, so it comes with a sticker, the manual, and let's see what the sub looks like. All right guys, here it is out of the box, and look at this beautiful sub, bro. This thing is super nice. So we have a nice surround, nice foam surround, stitched, um, stitched cone, the Defmont's um, dust cap, very stiff too. Um, we have a, I think it's gonna be a paper cone. It's not as stiff as I thought the spider, but let's look at here. Let's look at the tinsel leads real quick. So we have flat tinsel leads, um, one pair of flat tinsel leads going to the, each coil. And the, um, the terminals right here are not as big as I thought they would be. They're, they look like 12 gauge terminals. <clears throat> I mean, which is okay, but I'd like to see it bigger for, 230 bucks or 240 all right and here we are so let's look at that coil that's a 2.75 inch black copper clad aluminum coil that is a super nice coil wow and the basket looks really nice very sturdy as well and here's the spider it is going to be glued and um screwed down which is really really nice to see this is some quality stuff and here is the motor i'm gonna guess it is just a standard um two stack and it is pretty pretty wide though so i like to see that as well and yeah guys this sub looks pretty promising i right, guess let's look at the manual so we're gonna be right here this is gonna be the d1 d2 so we have an aluminum frame, pressed paper, a comb, foam surround. Oh, it's gonna be the 12 inch version, sorry. And 1500 watts RMS, 3000 watts peak, 2.75 uh, copper clad aluminum coil. <clears throat> let's see, let's see, X-Max. We're gonna have eight, 18 millimeters of X-Max, which is pretty good. And yeah. It also, in the manual, it also has the um, box dimensions. So let me show that real quick. This is pretty cool. It tells you what box would be best in this for this sub. And here are the dimensions if you want to take a look, if you have one yourself and you want to make a box. And yeah, let's get this thing inside of a box. I'm probably going to use my Timpano box over there. And yeah, let's do it. right now looking good look at that excursion bro
my guys, as you can see, I got it pretty loose. So I broke it in for a couple hours. So right now we got to take out the tympano sub. If you haven't seen my uh, last video on this sub, go check it out. Yeah, we put it through its RMS rating power. It went through five minutes and it was awesome. So we're just gonna take it out and replace it with the Def Bonds. So let's get it. All right, look at that sub though. This sub did great, guys. This one for 200 bucks, I really do suggest that one. Um, I'll let you know if the $240 sub will be better than this one. So far, I think the Timpano has this one beat, but I think I just need to get it in the box and find out. So let's get it. I guess we got the Defont Apocalypse hooked up to the box and let's get it in the car and see what this thing can actually do. We're going to do music test and a brutal RMS test. So let's get it. All right, guys, we got it hooked up to the car. Everything is hooked up. I got my uh, SMB meter down there. And let's get into this music test. So we're reading 13.35 uh, volts. And yeah, let's get into it. So we're gonna do Please Don't Go by Knight Lavelle because he does not copyright. So we're gonna do that. And if Depons is watching this, um, I'm not sponsored by you, but I would love to be. So, all right, let's get into it. <laughs> Guys, that was a little bit of a music demo. Uh, I really want to see the excursion on the sub, so I'm gonna play a 22 hertz frequency. So let's get into it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do our RMS test and um, I'm gonna try and put up the gain a little bit without it clipping uh, But I'm gonna do 30 Hertz and see how long it can last. So let me do this real quick And I'll get back to you in a second All right guys, so because of my current setup, I'm gonna do 35 Hertz and it keeps on since I wanted the one ohm version I thought I ordered the one ohms to hook it down to half an ohm, but apparently I didn't so got the 2 ohm version, so it's going to raise an impedance. And that's not good because I only have a 3,000 watt amp. And uh, at 3 ohms, I don't think it can reach the 1,500 consistently. So I'm going to get it as close as possible as I can. So let's just get into it then. And let me get my thing up. get to five minutes at this volume i'm actually gonna go i'm gonna aim for seven minutes at a thousand one hundred and if it can do that 
and I'd say that this sub spoil is great. guys we're at five minutes five minutes we're at about a thousand watts my smd meter did turn off but i can't turn it on turned off but i can't turn it back on God, guys, we did it 10 minutes. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, guys, let's turn that off. We got the 10 minutes Damn! on a, basically just like a thousand watts. I know it's not 1500, but my, my system is it powerful enough to support 1500 constant when the ohms are ro rising to about 3.5. Oh my gosh, though, we got the 10 minutes. If a sub could do a thousand watts at 10 minutes, it could definitely do 1500 at five minutes. This thing, I don't even smell it, guys. I'm, I'm not, I'm serious. I don't even smell it. This two point, this uh, two point uh, seven five inch coil is going ham, bro. Like I've never seen a coil withstand that much, uh, and it's not even three inch coil. It's not even a three inch coil. It's definitely better than my American base. Definitely. Oh my goodness. Would I suggest buying this subwoofer? Guys, if you want quality, this thing sounds great and it will not blow on you. It is crazy. If you're looking for excursion and uh, those hitting those low notes like crazy, I'd suggest something like the Tempano TPT 2500. I did the video on that just before this video it did amazing and it is only uh 200 bucks i think it is a steal bro it's a bang for your buck but this thing if you want high quality this thing will not blow i mean i mean if you want to spend the extra money get uh get a get a defcons bro like a lot of people say they're overrated but i i don't really see how they're overrated like I believe that it can handle every bit of 1500 watts but that's just my opinion uh, leave your opinions in the comments and I'll see you in the next one guys like comment subscribe and yeah peace guys oh.